Hi, this is Nevin. I'm going to be doing a basic Fruity Loops tutorial. Um, I'm going to go from start to finish creating a song and do my best to narrate for you. This is per request. Uh, I will be using presets. I will be using unedited samples. Um, normally I would resample and create my own sounds, but for now and for this tutorial, it's going to be much faster and easier if I just use presets. So we will start now. Um, it's going to be a little slow. I'm using a trackpad on my laptop because I can't find my mouse. So w don't expect a masterpiece out of this. It's going to be very simple. And just to give you a basic rundown, for this is not for advanced users. It's for people who are just starting with Fruity Loops and need to learn. Um, so I'm going to start with a VST. You're going to right click on the sampler and go to insert and select the VST you want to use. Uh, you will accumulate VSTs over time. Um, I'm using one right now called Atmosphere by Spectrosonics, a fantastic uh, synthesizer slash sampler. Uh, we're gonna use a pad to start with. So we're gonna select a pad patch. I'm a fan of this one right here. Mm. <coughs> So, um, normally I would just sequence, but I'm going to show you right now an easy way to start is to press the record button, um, I would go automation and score, it's going to record your MIDI inputs, um, and as soon as you press play it's going to start recording. I recommend turning the metronome on. So. see we've got what we just did now it looks a little off I'm off beat quite a bit so we're gonna hit alt Q and it's gonna select everything and try and quantize it for us quantizing is gonna put it all in line and snap it to the nearest um, I'm, I'm gonna say nearest beat um, go ahead and fix anything that's out of sync And now we should have let's lighten this up a bit. It is a pad. Turn off my metronome. All right, that's a good starter. So now what I would do, and a lot of people don't do this, um, I'm going to bring this into the clip editor. And now we can actually see the notes. We can see what's going on. We can invert the song now. So it's going to go ahead and play through there. All right. So now next thing I would do is start layering, get a, a little bit more sound, or just continue with the structure of the song. Um, for now, I'm going to go ahead and continue with the structure of the song. Um, simple two bar intro and then something that's going to come in here so I need to figure out what that is uh, something uh, higher pitched I believe again we're going to go to insert and look for a new VST to use and then we're going to go ahead make sure we're on, for me this isn't this is not necessarily what other people would use would change this to a separate pattern, maybe pattern two, and then add on. What I do is I make a whole new pattern for each instrument I use. That way I can see what's going on. And then I'll isolate this selection here so I can go ahead and add. simple melody, uh, nothing spectacular, but this is layering. Um, hold shift and drag after you've selected something and you will create a copy of it. So now I've got this and it sounds very empty again. We're gonna... So I'm going 
to create an effect on that. Maybe a reverb. Reverbs are fun. So you're going to select it. And you're going to bring up the channel settings. It's going to come up automatically. You just have to find it. And give it a FX channel. We're going to put it on FX channel 1. Select the drop down. And we're going to find reverb. Fantastic. Give it a lot. Probably like 10 million side counts. It's a little pangy. Let's see how that works. Okay, so I dig that. So we're going to add delay as well. intro or you can just bring in some drums right now so for this tutorial we're gonna go ahead and use something simple just a Rex break that we have going on and try and find the right one and what I would do in this instance is select a new pattern because we're gonna use the clip editor again and bring it in and I'm going to use the fruity slicer for this so you're going to right click on the sample you want to use open a new fruity slicer channel and it's going to automatically do your drums. It's going to it's going to sequence it out as it is. But I don't want that. I'm going to sequence something myself, which So I'll select all. I've placed it in the clip editor so it's there. And we're going to go ahead and sequence something. Okay. So what I've done here is I've sequenced a drum loop that I'm going to use maybe throughout the song. Take a look here. You can see I've got my individual slices. And take a look at the drum beat. This whole section again holding shift to move everything and it's good to get a listen to what we've got so far here next to the pattern name and make unique and select that region so now I'm going to fill this out so I'm going to add okay something simple this is where I would start to think about layering I'm filling out the sound um, generally I would go through and bring more into the pad but again something simple just to give you a, sh a, a look at what I do So now I've got, it's got variance while at the same time remaining solid. Um, this loop is repeating. Um, normally the smart thing to do is at the end of the measure I would add something here, 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 and here to give it a bit more of a change, but I'm not going to. where it's about something is about to happen so um, chances are I would bring in another drum beat here something a little bit more drastic um, while repeating the same thing I'm just gonna do it this way easier uh, but I'm gonna bring in another something something heavier so this is where I'm gonna start using single shots we're gonna use stuff that's already made um, 